Welcome to Architecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm Ari Paparo. I'm joined today by Oz Adzoni from Clinch. Uh, Oz, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ari. We've interviewed a bunch of creative vendors, you know, Seltra, among others. Um, so what is, what's the distinction? What do you do differently? So the distinction is that we, we started building a DCO that really fast turned into an omnichannel DCO because we started with video. We realized that the demand back then was for HTML5. Um, the cha-chang moment was that we need to create an omnichannel DCO from the get-go, one, one unified platform with a lot of different outlets because the demand for different channels will just, um, just increase throughout time. So that omnichannel approach was a big advantage that we had at the beginning. But long story short, throughout time, what we realize is that the DCO portion is just the end game, right? That's what everybody wants. But the bigger problem, the big challenge is how do you prepare? How do you plan? How do you strategize? How do you get all the teams to work towards that end goal? And for the past two and a half years, what we built is our platform flight control, which allows you to actually execute DCO across all the channels um, within an agency or a brand, giving you that ability to do it yourself on a platform that all the teams can collaborate and build those strategies towards the end goal of Omnichannel this year. Right. Okay. So let's break down the problem. So first of all, what what is the end result? You've said DCO a number of times. Is is DCO the core of what people use you for, or are there other forms of content and creative that you produce using your platform? So at this point, this year was the core of what people used us before. Mm -hmm. At this point, they're utilizing us for the SaaS platform to plan, run, measure, um, and eventually get insight and enrich their data to mm -hmm. our platform. Okay. Right? The, the this year was really the activation form of what we do, but they're utilizing us as a campaign management platform. Okay, so so does that include media? So when you say plan no. and activate, are you planning what media to buy, or you're just planning the creative execution? So we're uh, we're a media agnostic platform, right? Okay. The way the way we see it, it's like there there are two plans working simul simultaneously, right? There's right. Like the media plan with audiences and how you uh, buy and optimize the media. At the same time, you know, after you decide who I'm going to buy an impression and um, and when, then there's a whole different strategies that need to happen. In parallel of what are we going to show that person? Mm -hmm. And that's what you plan on Clench. All the different feeds, all the different strategies, all the different conditions. Got it. So walk me through that. So who's using this planning tool and what are they planning? So the teams that are using it, the let's say the, the leading or the main user of the platform are really the campaign managers, right? On the media side. At mm -hmm. the same time, you have creative, you have strategy, um, that are utilizing the tool, each one of them for their own role. But eventually, the campaign managers are managing the full strategy and eventually the trafficking to the media. Right. And so, um, who is it a collaborative tool? Like, what, what do they put in there and who else needs, like, walk me through the use cases for this tool. Sure. And we'll, and we'll see it all in the demo. And yeah, we're we'll sorry. For more protector subscribers, we have a full demo afterwards, but uh, let, let's just talk about it first. Yeah, definitely. So um, the, whole, the whole idea here, right, is that finally you have one place to collaborate. Before, uh, especially in the agencies, you had different teams working in silos. You know, like the strategy team will build the strategy. Maybe it's a, a specific decision tree. The creative team will build the creative mm -hmm. completely isolated from the strategy. And then eventually you got the traffickers getting everything ready and then trafficking the text to the DSPs. This tool allows everybody to collaborate and visually see the campaign strategy and mm -hmm. then connect uh, their own pieces of information or content to the overall strategy. Okay. Right. So for the first time ever, you literally see a campaign in front of you, you see the strategy, and eventually you see how it's working in real time. So creative will come in and connect the different creative or provide the different creative or creative templates uh, to the campaign managers. Um, you'll have feeds, you'll have different APIs and data sources, and everything come together into one big visual plan right. that eventually generate tags or other forms to push into the distribution channels. Okay, so you have creative authoring. So your your creative person is building an HTML5. Are they? Do they have to use the templates you provide, or is there kind of a UI for doing that? 
just a UI and they're not, they don't have to code anything. So the, the way we build it is that you can bring any creative, whether it's Figma, whether you work on After Effects, Photoshop, mm-hmm. we, we build tools that you can bring your design or use our tools to actually mm-hmm. turn every design into a dynamic template on your own. 